I'd like to welcome each of you to the 2021 Senior Award Day Program. A special welcome goes out to parents of our seniors and the presenters who are with us today. This program wouldn't be possible today without the efforts of our guidance department, Coach V, Ms. Finley, and Mr. Hyrak, and everyone else who is helping with today's program. We don't want to really stand for preservation of the public and the pleasure of the least. Good morning, all our seniors and all of our parents who are here to view and watch the Senior Awards program. I ask that you join with me in just a moment for a word of prayer. Father God, we are grateful for today. We're grateful for the celebration, for the recognitions that will take place. We're thankful for the families that are here, Father, lifting their child up, steering them and directing them for so many years. We're thankful for the many who have sacrificially led the way that they should in their homes and made opportunities for the kids to be successful. We're grateful today for the father, for the teachers, for the coaches, for the, the guidance counselors, the administrators, for all the many folks who have poured in to the lives of these students who have pushed them to help them to be successful in their endeavors athletically and academically. And today, as we recognize those God, help us give all the glory to you. We thank you most of all, Father, for the love this time of your son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Again, thank you guys for coming this morning. My name is Mary Ward. I'm the principal here at BHP. Seniors, your time as a student at BHP is almost complete. The recognition that you received today is because of the hard work, dedication, and persistence that you have demonstrated, not just during your four years here at BHP, but for the past 12 years you have been in school. You have worked hard to get to this point, and graduation is only a little over a week away. So congratulations in advance for the awards, scholarships, and recognitions that you will be presented with today. I ask, that I ask that the presenters come to the podium for your presentation in the order that you call on the program. And again, welcome to the 2021 Senior Awards Day Program. It is an honor and a pleasure for me to present Military Enlistment Awards to six seniors who decided to enlist into the U.S. military. If there are any veterans in our house, you please stand. These six young people will one day be proud to be in our midst. If I call your name, come forward. Jalice Harris, U.S. Air Force. Sandra Clark, U.S. Marine Reserve. <laughs> G. 
Jeffrey Johnson Jr., USA. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Lewis, U.S. Army. Marcia Stroman, U.S. Army National Guard. U.S. Army National Guard. Give these young people a round of applause. The class of 2021, the world is like a boxing arena. Another professional boxer. Once you come into the arena, you must do your job to protect yourself at all times. Use your common sense as you go forth, and you should do well. God bless you, and congratulations. Thomas. 
Your Greenville University is committed to recognizing outstanding academic achievement and high school involvement with substantial scholarships. Recipients are awarded based on academic achievement, character, and leadership potential. This year, we're recognizing three students who have committed to join the freshman class at NDU. Tyler Fields is receiving the President's Academic Scholarship. AJ is receiving the President's Academic Scholarship. And Abby is receiving the President's Academic Scholarship. North Greenville University is pleased to present over $96,000 in scholarships over four years to students committed to NGU from PHB High School. So we welcome you to the NGU family and again to the class of 2021. Congratulations. Austin Cross, 
Delaney Fuentes, James Stone, Amber Ashley, Haley Elgin, Catherine Patterson, and Jada Patterson. Morning. I am here to present the Morris and Moore Wright Memorial Scholarship. My brother Omar passed away on December the 2nd, 2020, after a long battle with congestive heart failure. He graduated from BHP and went on to earn an associate's degree from ITT Tech. Omar had the biggest heart. He would do anything for anyone and would give his last dollar to anyone in need. For and for, first and foremost, he loved God his family, but he also loved the Bears. He especially loved seeing his nephew, Jordan, play basketball for the Bears. Our family wanted to honor his memory by awarding a scholarship to a person that possessed some of the same values and characteristics as my brother. We also wanted to help someone that was planning to attend a technical school because that is what Omar did. Although we didn't personally pick the recipient, we feel he is the best choice for this award. He has many of the same problems as my brother, and he is also planning to attend Tri County Technical College after graduation. And to top it all off, he played basketball with my son, Jordan. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans for you, for your welfare, not for disaster, to give you a future and hope. And a hope. I know God has great plans for this young man. We look forward to seeing what the future holds for him. I am proud to present the first hopefully annual Morris and Moral Wright Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $700 to Ezekiel Dotson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
story was bringing new lives into the world. Anna was a cancer survivor. Sadly, she was taken away from us in a house fire on Valentine's Day of 2010. Our family wanted to keep her memory alive, so we decided to pay it forward with a scholarship to a student planning to pursue a career in the medical field. And also has a high GPA in their classes. It is our family's honor to present the very first Anna Brewington Memorial Scholarship to Harrison McClain.
recognizes the senior with the highest ACT score with a $250 scholarship and the senior with the highest ACT score with a $250 scholarship. This year's ACT uh, score of a 31 goes to Ian Gamble. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Dr. Ernest B. Mackins. Uh, the College Board National Recognition Program Rule and Small Town Scholar. Uh, please stand up in just a second. Last thread. The College Board shared news regarding students' eligibility to apply for College Board Recognition Programs. An invitation was extended to students that scored in the top 2.5% of the PS on the PSAT. BHP has one student that was identified as the College Board National Recognition Program Scholar. This student scored 1380 on his PSAT score. Congratulations to Ian Dan Grill, who is recognized as the National Recognition Program. Well done. Well done, a great job. Last year, through our community commitment program, 
In Anderson County, we gave back over $130,000 to the schools. Uh, this year, uh, two of our scholarship winners are at BHP, and we would like to recognize Alyssa Valasiva, I hope, and Peggy Pruitt. Uh, these scholarships would not be possible without our wonderful members of our credit union and our board of directors. We appreciate the support of working with School District 2, and we wish all of you seniors much success in your future. Thank you. Faith and Grace Scholarship recognizes a senior who exhibits the following characteristics. Commitment to personal goals, passion for others, and plans to attend the field of veterinary science. This scholarship is given by Shirley Shirley and the late Sue Shirley in memory of Charles Lomax and Dallas Lomax. This year's recipient plans to attend Tri-County Technical College to become a veterinary technician. I am very, very, very pleased. To announce this $500 scholarship to Alyssa Lacey. Lastly, the Excellence in English 
award honors Dr. Robert L. Sneed, the former principal of BHP. Dr. Sneed always encouraged and promoted proficiency in reading, writing, and speaking. He expressed his values when he said nothing supersedes a person's ability to read with comprehension, write with efficiency, and speak with clarity. This award is presented to the senior who has achieved the highest cumulative average in five English honors courses for English 1 through Advanced Placement English and or English 101 and 102. For 2021, the BHP English Department proudly presents the Dr. Robert L. Smith Excellence in English Award to Anna Phillips. On behalf of the BHP Theater Department, I am honored to recognize these students with outstanding work and achievement in the theater program. Each student recognize, receives an award that recognizes his or her hard work and dedication to the fine arts. I have enjoyed teaching the students in theater, some for just one year, others for three or four. Although these awards may have some creative names, they are pertinent to the hard work and the dedication that each of these students puts into the fine arts. In addition, these students will also be receiving their graduation honors awards this morning. So, my first student took theater his freshman year and was definitely afraid of the stage. But between his growth in the program and many roles that he has become, this year he really has shown his true colors. His eccentric personality can be missed as he graduates from BHP and begins the next adventure that awaits him. Cody Arnold, will you please step forward to receive the Drama King Award? He is one person who is always a little more tragically required than a good one. and has been the most supportive of the students that come to the Spirit program here at BHP. If there is one student full of spirit and kindness, she is the first that comes to mind. Savannah Ramey will be receiving the Spirit of the Ensemble Award. Whether she is Wendy owning the stage or behind the scenes running the show, she has been the epitome of BHP theater this year. It has been a blessing and honor to have her be a perfect partner and have a perfect Legacy will be passed on to your The amount of growth that this student has made on and off the stage is worth a spotlight in its own. Barb Jackson Wardlock has been an asset to the theater department and has been the best supporting actor in each role, especially in helping to create the stage of the character and the theater. Because of the dedication and support of nature, this student will be receiving the Excellence in Theater Activity Award. It has been a blessing to teach you for two years of theater and for that running for Good morning. The Golden Paul Memorial Award is presented in memory of the late Mr. James R. Golden, who was our beloved band director here at DHP from 1971 to 1990. Mr. Golden was a graduate of Furman University and a member of the Furman chapter of Phi Mu Alpha Symphonia International Music Fraternity. He also performed trumpet in the U.S. Army Band. He began teaching in 1966 at 96 High School, moved to BHP in 1971, and he remained here as the director of bands at Belton Middle School, Honeypath Middle School, and Belton Honeypath High School until he retired in 1990. Mr. Golden touched all of our lives in a meaningful way, teaching us lessons that we each would carry with us for the rest of our lives. With his strict but always fair leadership style, he encouraged us to work hard to do our best, to improve our abilities, and pushed us to accept nothing less than excellence in everything we did, whether it was in the arts or the classroom. Mr. Golden passed away on March 4, 2006, but his love, admiration, loyalty, and support for the BHP High School Band and students continue to live on in the hearts of all of us who knew him. This year, the 2021 Golden Paul Memorial Band Award is presented to Ms. Ashlyn Hay.
Since its inauguration in 1954, the John Philip Sousa Band Award has been given to thousands of outstanding high school band students for superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, and loyalty. This award is the most prestigious national award for any high school band student. John Philip Sousa was not only a renowned composer and band leader, but he was also a strong supporter of all school music programs. Sousa is considered the pillar of American music, and his music still inspires everyone today. This year, the 2021 John Philip Sousa Band Award at Belgium Honeycutt High School is presented to Mr. Tavion Washington. Back around three. 
Each year, the history department recognizes a top performing history student. The student I'd like to recognize today has excelled in our history classes, especially in our AP U.S. history class, where she received a high score on the AP U.S. history exam. In addition to that, she's taken high level courses in English, math, science, all the different areas. She's a member of the Beta Club, National Honor Society, and Student Council. She's volunteered at food drives, meals on meals, haven of rest, and relay for life. Today, we are pleased to give the history award to Megan Roper. Thank you for coming to the Country University and major chemistry. Congratulations, thank you. Good morning. I'm Melissa Houston. I'm presenting the Melissa Ann Harper Memorial Choir Award. In 1999, Melissa Harper was tragically killed in a car accident after attending prom. The choir decided that year to create an award in her memory. This award is presented each year to the VHP senior who has participated in choir all four years, been a member of chamber singers for three, and has the highest GPA for all four years of high school. This year, the Melissa Ann Harper Memorial Choir Award goes to Christina Hotz. I'd like to start by saying that your chairs do not look very comfortable. And I'm so sorry to are sitting in them. But it is so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you guys. Look at these dear people on the sides. I don't think they have been recognized near enough for the things that they have done for what you are currently experiencing. So I would like to start by giving you the opportunity to say thanks, Mama. So let's go. Come on, thanks, Mama. But that's all oh, that was so weak back then. Kind of pause at least so they feel loved. <laughs> all right. I teach art here at JHU High School. And I have some words to give out to some of these dear students. And this is a little bit of an experience because some of you are here and it's hard for you to continuously clap over and over again for things. And so what I want you to do is just some advice for you. You need to understand that BHP is a great school because we're better together. Not each individual person that does individual things to cause individual excellence to their family and all that is wonderful. The reason that BHP is wonderful is because we're better together. So I encourage you to clap for the people that receive awards for the rest of the show because we're all in this thing together. Now, I wasn't going to really believe that, but your mamas do. And that was really for them. And your daddy does. And your grandmother does. You can't really understand something that you don't get, that you won't understand for a while. But maybe one day you will. We're better together. Right now. Okay. Now, the BHP Art Honor Society recognizes excellence in academics and in art. And uh, Receive this award, you have to, and that, that is a 4.0 GPA. You have to maintain an A every night you each you've had my course. You have to have the course for at least two years and end in APR. You have to be awesome as well. And so, if you would please congratulate your students as they come up. And I don't know how many of you have to give you this and this at the same time. So, we're going to make it work. But I don't know how to. So we're going to try. So, help. Let me come up. First, it's Claire Williams. Claire, congratulations. <laughs> no, that's all right, Claire. Come on. 
Jackson Bryant, Carl Caldwell, who is on our golf team. Our golf team right now is playing for the state championship, so those guys will not be here. Lily Caldwell, Tyler Sutter, Samuel Clark, Miles Cooley, Tyler Fields, Pearson Fisher, Jackson Frey, Carter Gaines, Will Gilly, Jaleesa Harris, Caitlin Haynes, Ray Hollingsworth, Ivy Hoaxfall, Caleb Ford, Justice Gerard, Maddie Jennings, Gabriel Kelly Bill, Andrew Cowell, Madeline Knight, Christina Knox, Hey Lord, Thomas Leeward, Ella Lock, Madison Lowe, Kennedy McGahan, Wes Newton, Gracie Norris, Reese Patterson, Anna Phillips, Odessa Paul, Drake Ritchie, Jacob Robinson, Carlos Rosales, Dustin Scoggins, Bailey Smith, Olivia Stone, Abby Thomas, Madison Watson, Slade Watson, Ella Williams, Kevin Young.
The Pauli paid his three scholarship and the amount of five hundred dollars to Megan Rayburn. The Upstate Federal Credit Union Community Commitment Scholarship of seven hundred and fifty dollars to Peyton Pruitt and Elizabeth Isaiah. The Jim and Stephanie Coban two thousand five hundred dollars scholarship for achievement to Allie Grace Barton. The Jim Blood Service Award of fifteen hundred dollars to Gracie North. The Frank M. Williams and Les Griffin Memorial Civitan $500 scholarship to Ian Gamble and Hayden Phillips. The Webcraft Family Foundation Scholars awarded to Edessa Poor, Ella Williams, and Seth Taylor. The Commercial Bank Business and Finance $1,000 scholarship to Miles Cooley. The Servant Leadership $500 scholarship to Christina Knight. The Beta Scholar $1,000 scholarship to Elizabeth Asier. The National Honor Society $500 scholarship to Elise Scott, Renee McLean, and Gracie Norris. The Henry C. Clink Scales Memorial Scholarship $1,500 to Lily Carlisle. And the Charlie Bill Martin Family Youth Volunteer Award $1,500 scholarship to Ashley and Amy. Congratulations, seniors.
Maddie Jennings will attend Rosewood Carolina University on a softball scholarship. Congratulations. Scholarship and the Mayor Bates Scholarship to attend the College of Charleston. Peyton Grew will receive the Green Gold Scholarship to attend the Colorado State University. Thomas Hitzinger will receive the fastest team scholarship and Woodman of the World Scholarship to attend University College. Bailey Swift will receive the Erskine Gold Scholarship and the Chile Scholarship to attend Erskine College. Congratulations. Landon Gaddis will be attending Florence Arlington Technical College on a baseball scholarship. Congratulations.
Amber Ashley. Ian Gambrell. Kirsten McLean. Grace Norris. Carson Owen. Jada Patterson. Catherine Patterson. Anna Phillips. Caitlin Phillips. Lennox May Reed. Megan Roper. Anna Scott. Taylor, Alyssa Valencia, and Addison Watson. I just want to thank you guys all one more time for coming, parents, students, representatives, teachers, staff, um, my guidance staff especially. It took a lot to turn this around, get this done very quickly, have in here, and I just appreciate everyone's help that um, allowed for that to happen. In a second, I'm going to dismiss you, but we're going to not leave. We're going to go to the auditorium to watch the senior slideshow. And then once the senior slideshow is over, I have all of your senior pictures, your cabin out pictures. You guys can get those before you leave. And then you are dismissed for the day, seniors. Um, hang on, hang on, time out. Just a couple of reminders before we move over into there, because after I get you into there, I'm don't forget to grab that. 